guys, this is Conspiracy from SurrealPSD.com and in this video we're going to be doing a gothic makeover tutorial. So before we get started I'm just going to give you a before and after. Here we have the original stock model and the gnarly gothic makeover afterwards. So the first thing I'll say when undertaking this kind of work is always use the best possible stock image. Now this one's actually um, a premium stock image that I paid for. Uh, it's studio shot, the lighting is brilliant, it's um, high resolution and when you zoom in it, it retains its details. So the better the stock image you use, the greater the final output will be. So now we've got that out of the way, let's, um, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is a very basic kind of retouch. So I'm going to use shortcuts the whole way through this. Command and J to duplicate the layer, control with you on a PC. And with that duplicate, change that to screen layer mode, and then add a layer mask. You may want to name this um, teeth whiten. And then once that's done, go onto your layer mask, command I to invert, and then using a small soft edge brush, soft edge means the hardness is at zero. You simply paint in the whites of the teeth. Okay, now that's done, uh, we can move on to the next bit. Also, when working with a layer mask, um, you'll notice that the foreground color is set to white. So that means that's replacing everything that's been removed by the layer mask. So the teeth have been done. You can reduce the opacity to lessen the intensity of that just a bit. So we'll tweak that. Okay, that's done. The next thing we want to do is deal with these eyebrows. So the original uh, model has these nice healthy eyebrows. What we want to do is create a synthetic kind of drawn on eyebrow look, but still retain the, the texture of the eyebrows. Um, there are a number of ways of doing this. I used to use the patch tool or clone tools, but they're just not clean enough. Um, I, I want the best quality humanly possible. So I've developed a new technique for this. Uh, create a, a new layer and set your tool to brush by hitting B. You can change the brush size by using the square brackets next to the enter key. And the idea is, is to hold down Alt to sample a tone from the skin, click and then paint down and then do that in another line. And then you'll notice I'm holding down Alt, I'm clicking and I'm drawing down a straight line. And I'm just going to carry that on and repeat the same for the other eyebrow. Okay, once you've done that, you'll have something looking similar to this. It's not perfect, but we can amend that. So we're just stealing the tones to create a kind of base layer. What you can then do is go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And then apply a, a suitable radius. So we just want to soften that down so the transition and the blend is a little bit better. It doesn't matter if the eyebrows start showing through. Um, so I'm just going to go OK. And then duplicate that layer if the eyebrows are showing through. So Command J to duplicate. And I think that will probably be all right. Merge that down, Command E. So that's one layer, and we'll name this one as well. Nice and neat. Um, eyebrows. Okay, that's that done. Now, because we've painted this directly on with a brush, um, there'll be no texture there. You'll notice there on the skin, there's a texture. We'll add um, some faux texture by going noise, add noise, uh, radius, and in this case, it may be amount or one. That looks okay to me. And now that area is textured, go OK. And on this eyebrow layer, we want to add a layer mask. So click Add a Layer Mask icon. And then by selecting B and switching the foreground color to black, in this case, I'm going to hit X. You can taper back. So I'm going to turn it off and on and see how far it goes. So. Okay, so that's been done. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. 
um, for now that works okay um, you can always sample and add more and you can put more effort and time into that what we want to do now is add some fake eyebrows and a, a good method for doing this is going to the existing eyebrows because we don't want it just to be a solid black line we'd like um, a bit of texture there and with the pen tool create a selection and if you don't know how to use a pen tool then I sincerely urge you to learn it immediately one of the most important tools in in Photoshop so I'm just going to create that selection now of the um, the fake eyebrow shape a little bit slimmer for a kind of um, drawn on look a little bit more angry as well in the, in its shape once the uh, path has been made you right click with the pen tool and go make selection and then click OK now that's going to be a, a very kind of hard edge selection so you want to go select modify feather and um, feather radius um, I'm going to go 6 and then with the original image selected you're going to go command and J that will copy and paste that selection so I'm going to move that above the um, the fake painting that we've done and here you can see the new eyebrows so these ones are a bit skinny but they'll do for now for the example and you can set them to multiply and if you want to reduce the saturation just to take some of the uh, color values out so it seems more dark you can do that as well once you're happy with the eyebrows uh, what you can do then is move on to amending the hair so with the hair you go to let's just move this up so you can see the dialogue this is this is a great method for coloring any kind of object because it retains the highlights the number one issue with doing um, color processing is that the highlights get washed out so we're going to go gradient map via adjustment layers click on the black to white and then you're going to add a stopper to the middle so this one's kind of uh, a peach color what we want is a, a shocking purple so let's just move that to there go OK have a look on the screen now the good thing about this is that you can pull the uh, color sliders in any direction to pull back the highlights uh, or to increase the shadows it's a very versatile way of processing color click OK on that the, the uh, layer mask is completely white so we want to invert that to black and then it's a case of selectively painting in where you would like the color to be so B for brush make sure white is your foreground color change the brush size as necessary and then paint in the color okay for demonstration purposes that will do it for now um, because it's an adjustment layer very versatile at any time you can go back in there and tweak the values so that's all good you can also pull the opacity down if it's um, too stark or overbearing uh, additionally to that you can change the layer mode there's lots of uh, freedom there so adjustment layers are king to take that a step further what you can actually do is create a new layer set that layer to color um, in this instance I'm going to add a, a highlight um, a, a shocking red very garish red and with a soft edge brush paint directly on now what I may do is paint some a little bit go filter blur Gaussian blur so the transition is smoother hit E for a razor and get a nice uh, large eraser you can you can pull the reds back by eating away the reds again if it's too over the top um, tweak the opacity and get the right balance for your particular image so that's the highlights nice and simple for that step um, an important step on this is the uh, white skin of the model so what you want to do is create a merged copy of all of this so go what you may want to do at this step is turn the 
eyebrows off. So the let's name that uh, new eyebrows. We're just going to turn that one off for a moment and go Command Alt Shift and E. That will create a, a merged copy of everything. So Command Alt Shift and E, and we have a merged copy of everything. And we're going to set that to screen. And we're going to image adjust desaturate that. Here we, you can see the uh, porcelain skin effect. Create a layer mask. Invert that layer mask to black. Command and I. And then as with the other steps, soft edge brush, we can show the new eyebrows again now. Change the brush size and paint in the white skin. And that's that. Very quick, very easy. You can pull the opacity back on the screen to get the desired effect. So 100% may be over the top. And that's the the white face effect. The next step is accentuating the eyeshadows. So a simple method for that is create a new layer, set the new layer to soft light, hit B for brush, and then hit D. That will set these colors to default. I'd like to use a black to increase the shadow underneath the eye. So I'm just painting with black directly onto a soft light layer and I may blur that a small amount so filter blur Gaussian blur take it back a little, little bit there we go um, use E to make sure that's been removed from the eyeballs we don't want that going directly onto the eyeballs and you can tweak the value of that layer to anything you want so that extent accentuates the eyeshadow naturally whilst retaining the existing highlights. A step further um, that you can do is take a particular colour, so I'm going to go for like a, a, a dirty blue tone, fairly strong, change uh, the mode to soft light and then paint in directly onto the eyelids. So let's just get B for brush for that one and paint it directly on. The final step is to tweak the lips. Now lips are notoriously difficult to do. Um, most color processing will knock out these nice white highlights to make it that make it look real um, and tactile. The, these highlights really make the image. And things like hue saturation and other kind of color balance things normally annihilate these highlights, but again, Gradient Map does the job brilliantly, so that's New Adjustment Layer. Select Gradient Map, and you want to start with the black and white one here. Add another slider to the middle, and for this one again, a shocking purple, maybe a bit darker. Go OK. And with the lips, you want to mess about with the sliders just a bit more, so this one here Maybe I'm going to push it to the right. You can also move the, the white values, but that will be too stark. So this one here, I'm going to go with that for now. Hit OK. Go back to the adjustment layer. Invert that adjustment layer, Command and I. And then with B for brush, ensure white is your foreground color. I'm going to do that by hitting X on the keyboard. And then simply paint your lip, lip color directly on. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit too wet looking. Let's, let's change the colors and move this. Okay. So they're the, the main techniques used in this piece. Um, you can take it further. Obviously with yours, you'll spend a lot longer. Um, in blue Peter style, the one I made earlier, oh, I took a bit longer. Um, you can see the lip tone is darker. Some extra features have been added. Um, these evil eyes, that's a, a technique that I posted on Surreal PSD previously. So go to Surreal PSD, go to the horror tutorials. This one's called uh, the evil eyes technique. 